Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from What's Up in the Sky 37 channel, or you can catch me online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And as always, I am back with another anomaly, or shall we say, water on Mars today. They were talking about in this, um, some you know, NASA finding evidence of life and water in a uh, stream bed. I guess some of the pebbles, in, and I think they found at once a flowing stream. Well, I'm here to tell you that there are lakes that are not frozen, that are water on Mars. I'm showing you one on your left side of your screen here. You've got a picture from Mars. This is from the Mars Orbiter. And on the right, I've got Google Earth pulled up. And this is just a picture of a lake, uh, just, a, just a random lake here. Uh, so let me pull this back up to the preview. Now, that's just for comparison. Now, the black and white here, this uh, you can even see see how around the coast you've got this this right here. Um, you've got the trees, and when I back this out, you're going to see a lot more trees. There, there's trees on Mars. They've actually lied to us about what's up there. They've known for a long time, NASA has, what's up there, uh, that there possibly could be a civilization there, That uh, and it's it's habitable. Now, maybe not by us, but by some forms of life, uh, obviously, there's some something here. Now, m most people look at this on the left, they can say that's a that's a lake that looks like a lake um, this is just one of many this is off of JP Skipper's um, Mars anomaly research off of his research he did an excellent job his website is excellent you can find it um, I'll link it below I've got a couple more videos that he's uh, I've got inspiration to do from him he's got great anomalies on there so I also link his website from my website gotta make sure I do that this weekend but uh, I'm gonna take you to where you can get the picture this is the uh, MOC gallery there's tons of pictures like this out there, you're gonna to want to get the the best quality here is the full the view the uh, let's see looseless GIF file, which is best quality slow download. It's not that slow; you get it pretty quick. So download that, and I haven't touched it. This is just downloaded. So let me go ahead and I'll get rid of the Google Earth here, and let's take a look at this whole strip. is pretty amazing um, when we get a chance to look at it. So this is the whole strip here, and we'll start up at the top to show you what it looks like vegetation trees now let me see if I can do something I haven't tried this yet I should have tried it before the video but you know I do my videos if you're if you're used to watching me we just uh we just kind of swing it here I just want to see what would happen if I added a little bit of the a green tint to it if it would look any more like trees or not and some highlights let's see well a little bit like it but you down here it still shows that color that 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 lake is about as pristine as you can get. Um, like I said, you, you can see the shoreline here. You can see as it comes out, even like just on that other lake, you, you know how the water gets shallow as it comes up to the to the bed. And around it, these look to be trees, vegetation, shrubs. Um, even down here, look at the shoreline, how they're growing, how uh, things are growing on it. And what is this? Could even be some sort of civilization here that looks like they've been docking stuff here. You would think if that was the case, you'd see something out here on the water. Um, <laughs> but even here, it looks like it, you know there's a little bit darker under there the water, um, and not all water. They said these are in black and white. These, uh, if you look at a lot of these that actually come down from this, if you go through that website I just showed you, this one right here, you're gonna see that the colors on these are always black and white, but they're really fine grayscale, so you get a lot of you know a lot of texture to them. Let's zoom in on some of this vegetation here. See. Let me get that Google Earth back up just to give us some more comparison to uh, to what's what's going on here. Let's see. Now I've got to use it. All right. So we got my uh, things look like they're ready to go off on my icons there. I don't know. What do you think? Does it look like vegetation to you? comment below that's why I do this so much love guys one more time well see I'm spinning stuff around I'm not used to using it with my trackpad alright well anyway you see it let me one time let me make this a little bigger one more time for everybody else to see move it nice along here and even here it looks like it's got these little white little things spaced out and I can't say they're not evenly spaced but they're spaced out you know pretty pretty intriguing to wh whatever that would be the odds of that just being randomly there um, this to me here looks like it's actually breaking on the on the shore this doesn't look like ice to me this looks like a lake you can see how it breaks up as it gets to the shore and it's got the uh, 
the little ripples in it just like on earth so much love thank you for checking out my videos this summer have all sorts of good stuff i got some more curiosity stuff coming up that's awesome um as always there's so many of these pictures i want to get to i've got plenty of anomalies come check them out hit my website up hit subscribe much love have a good day